Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So for today's video, it's a bit of a different video that I've never really done before. Um, I'm going to see if I could build a Los Angeles Lakers Super Team Dynasty around a Superstar Lonzo Ball. Now normally when I do these type of videos with these Superstar type players, I uh, do a fantasy draft. But for this video, I know Lonzo Ball is just a rookie, but I thought it would be, or it was going to be a rookie, I should say. But I thought it would be fun to assume that he becomes an absolute superstar beast in the NBA and gets drafted by the LA Lakers. I think that's where a lot of people are, are uh, thinking he's going to go to if they get the right draft pick. So I put him on the Los Angeles Lakers. We are in the offseason, this upcoming offseason. We are going to do a two-season rebuild. And by that, I mean we're going to do this offseason, uh, the next season, the offseason, and that next season. See how this team can do. See what we can do in two seasons here. And uh, we're going to see if we can build a superstar team around Lonzo Ball, assuming, you know, I don't think it'll be that great that fast. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do anyway. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's get right to it. Los Angeles Lakers, we are already in free agency. So, all this other stuff, all this other bitch-ass stuff is gone, guys. Uh, first off, a big move I want to make is uh, D'Angelo Russell, who actually just had a 40-point game. His career-high 40-point, he was actually playing at the shooting guard position. And I love the idea of having Lonzo Ball at point guard and D'Angelo Russell... Honestly, guys, I, I mean, yes, he's a good playmaker, but I see him more as a as a shooting guard that uh, could also handle the ball sometimes, too. I think this will be absolutely deadly, deadly. So we are going to put D'Angelo Russell at the shooting guard position. Also, guys, you do me a quick favor before we even start here even more. If you could just uh, do me a quick favor and push that like button on this video, guys, as we are almost to 100k subscribers. Uh, definitely getting closer each and every day. So you look at the rest of the team here. We, of course, have uh, Julius Randle. Um, I'd like to keep him around, too. I don't know if I want him as my starter for this season. Uh, maybe give him the season to develop even more. Larry Nance Jr., yeah, he's an absolute beast. I, uh, I think he's a great player, too. But uh, if we can get the right trade value for him, he might go. You know, Jordan Clarkson, guys, I absolutely think Jordan Clarkson is a good player. You know, he definitely is a good shooter, good offensive player. Um, but I hate the idea of him not being able to start on this team because of these two players starting. So he's got a big contract. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good value for the player he is. But, uh, you know, I kind of just feel bad about keeping him on the team here and not letting him develop into something special out there. Uh, Swaggy P, yeah, he'd be a good bench player for us. He got good shooting stats. What'd I just do? Um, oh, my God. We're the Lakers. We're the Lakers. Oh, my God. Are we there? Uh, we got Thomas Robinson, who I did not know he was even on this team, but okay. Um, he actually was a top-notch draft pick. It looks like he's an expiring deal anyway. Oh, Tarek Black, listen up, dude. Listen up, dude. I know you want a zero contract, but your salary was 666. Boy, you from the Illuminati, dude. You the Illuminati player right there. I don't know if I can deal with that. Oh, my God, dude. But you 75 overall, so you might stay. Yeah, Timothy, you know you got to go, right, dude? You, you, you know that contract I'm going to stick around my team, right, dude? You already fucking know that, right, dude? Right, Timothy? Uh, Lou Alding, yeah, you got shut down, man. You're getting paid $18 million to get all his courtside Laker tickets. Ooh, shit, I forgot about Brandon Ingram, too, so we got him to develop also. So, yeah, guys, I imagine a few seasons, uh, you know, two seasons, we'll probably be a pretty damn good team on here. Let's get right, no, 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 let's get right some of those bitch-ass contracts first, guys. All right, first off, um, yeah, Timothy, shit, dude, give me an expiring deal. You have 75 overall, but I'm not trying to keep you around. Um, all I really want is just a draft pick. We can do that. I don't know if that's going to be an option or not. Um, if not, then uh, Oakland wasn't too bad. I might saw some cheaper ones. Here we go. We'll take a top three protected 2020 draft pick from the Warriors. I don't even care, dude. Those always got good trade value, at least. You know, to uh, you know, any sort of draft pick does. Uh, Luol Dang, dang dude, you gotta go real quick. Give me another, just give me another, uh, draft pick for it, if I can find one. Here we go. Uh, give me, yeah, top three protect, that looks a little better. From the Utah Jazz. And, uh, Clarkson, like, I actually want to legit see if I can find something for him. I don't know if we're going to. Uh, if I can still get a top notch draft pick for him, that's be fine, too. So, we got a lot of money in free agency, so... Just get rid of him real quick. Yeah, bitch ass low on screen, take it forever. Dude, goddamn, is that fucking... Game Boy Color, dude. Holy shit. Actually, Game Boy Color actually had pretty good loan screens. Because it was just a Game Boy. Uh, okay, draft pick. Oh, that looks pretty good. We might just do that one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal looking trade right there. But I'm, I don't want to commit to that $22.64 million contract. I want to see what else is in free agency first. Give me these two draft picks. That's actually hella nice, guys. But uh, I, I, I'm trying to free up cap space. That's all I want to do. I kind of like the team we already have. I mean, we do need a center, but uh, I don't want to commit to that in this season. All right, so D'Angelo, we got two-year option on him. So, yeah, we're going to accept that. Julius Randle accept his uh, team option. Two-year for Larry Nance Jr. Yeah, oh, yeah, hell, hell yeah, dude. For that much money? Uh, Tarek Black. God damn, dude. The 6.66 is really throwing me off. But I'm going to... I mean, I guess we bought the Illuminati, the Illuminati on our side, right? So, I'll bring you back. Tyler Ennis. Uh, Nick Young got a player. He uh, accepted that. All right, that's fine. God damn, do I got that 666, so that's some sketchy-ass stuff. 
Okay, my free agents. Yeah, I really don't want none of those guys back anyway. Free agency. Let's get to it. And uh, like I said, guys, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of good players out here, but I'm not looking to just like toss money this season. I wouldn't mind developing our players even more. Maybe even get another top-notch draft pick and then really hit in the free agency next season. That might actually be the move here. Um, yeah, because like the center-wise, the, yeah, the uh, DeAndre Jordan was nice and everything, but I don't know, dude. I don't really want to commit to DeAndre Jordan. He, like, he's usually good for like. I don't know, 11 points and 13 rebounds, which is fine, but not for that much money. I feel like we can just find that elsewhere for a lot cheaper. So, uh, I don't want bitch ass Durant, Gorn Hayward. I mean, I want to develop Brandon Ingram. So, honestly, I, I don't see myself making a lot of moves. Let's get ourselves a backup point guard at least. Maybe like a Rondo. Get him for like, uh, yeah, we can get for the mini, for the uh, mini here. So, I want to get him for two seasons. Fine with that. Uh, backup shooting guard. We don't really have one of those. We got Reddit Clarkson, which is fine. I was, you know, I was okay with that. Uh, maybe, uh,. Jonah Meeks is actually balling the Lakers. We'll get him for two seasons for the low low if we can. Um, Iguodala, he could back up. I mean, he could even start this season, honestly. Maybe get him for like a one year deal. Sign him up. Go uh, power forward. Uh, we'll have Larry Nance Jr. for our backup. Back up uh, Julius Randle. And then, uh, yeah, we really do need a center. So let me just go with. Damn, I don't want to commit too much. But I'm just going to get some bitch ass center here. Like, actually, I, actually, I do like Larry Sanders. Like, he's a good rebounder and he's a good shot block. So we'll get him. And maybe even a bulk at first season. Who, which I know his rating's going to go down, but still. All right, I mean, Joey Meeks want to be a bitch ass. Go somewhere else. Feel free. You go to the Charlotte Hornets, dude. You go to them damn Charlotte Hornets. I'll get the boy uh, Timmy Hardaway. 77 overall player. Okay, we got Rondo for two years. I, I like that. That's fine. He's just like a decent point guard. Um, Iguodala. We'll get Bogut. We'll get Larry Sanders to be our starter. Or maybe Bogut. Either one. Two good defensive centers. Tim Hardaway. Shit, Timmy. Timmy, that's uh, $14 million. I did not really realize that, dude. Eh. Eh. I think I'd rather just... Okay, that's fine. They decided to match anyway. Thank you. Thank you, guys. For, for uh, once, that actually helped me out. Um, Maybe like a Wayne Ellington at 29 for the mini. Yeah, we'll get him too. All right, we actually find now, guys. We find we'll go to player progression. Like I so said, this, for this offseason, not really looking to make the big splash here. Uh, okay, Lonzo Ball says up 16 because, you know, we put him that way. That's fine. So, D'Angelo up 5 points. Larry Nance up 4 points. He might actually start over Julius Randle. I'm not really sure yet. Ingram up 4 points. That's very nice. Uh, we got Zubak also. I forgot about him. So, uh, Sanders up a point. Rondo actually down a point. Yeah, Bogle will be a third string center. That's fine. Uh, we'll go to these training camps. Like, I'm going to use these on Ingram and probably Russell. I, I think we got two of them, hopefully. Probably Randle also. Uh, let's load that. Embrace the pace. By the way, guys, Embrace the pace did come out with a 2019... Um, draft class, y'all be sure to check that out, guys. Also, we got a YouTube channel, too. Go show him support, guys. He makes these series so much better with his draft classes. I'm going to tell you that straight up. All right. Oh, well, goddamn. We got a bitch-ass trainer. What can I want to do his goddamn job? I want to sit around eating Big Macs all day. Holy shit, dude. You you legit went to Hollywood, and you went Hollywood. You don't think I work or nothing. Oh, my God, dude. All right, untapped. Let's tap up Ingram. No homo. Just saying. All right, he had an A-. minus. Advance to next season. So we're going to peep out this roster real quick. Lonzo Ball, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Brandon Ingram, uh, Larry Nance Jr. We got Zubak, um, Julius Randle. He'll develop nicely. And I'm, I'm still debating maybe uh, trying to trade Larry Nance Jr. away just for... I, I mean, I, I guess I really don't want to. Let me actually try this out real quick. Let me go... Uh, the boy Zubak, I actually hear, is quite, a, is quite a beast also. So I'm not going to put you anywhere. So we're going to keep you like that. Uh, Julius... So, he go to a 78 as center. I don't really see him playing a center. Um, he actually go to an 81 overall, a small forward. So, maybe I'll do that. But, no, I really want to start Ingram. I really want to get some uh, you know, some playing time under his belt. So, I'm, I'm going to stick with this. But, I think I'm still going to go with Julius Randle as our starter. I like what he brings from a triple-double standpoint. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're, pretty, they're both pretty, you know, pretty much similar minutes. Uh, Nick Young, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can play multiple positions. I'm going to take away Ellington's minutes, actually, and give those to... Uh, Rajon Rondo to be our backup point guard. Tarek Black. Yeah, I know you're the 666 man, but that's all good. Uh, Nick Young. Yeah, this is they're quite, look, quite look a good looking team here, guys. I think we definitely have a playoff team, especially if Lonzo Ball, the point guard. Um, and we're willing to make the big splash next for agency. Probably go for a top notch center, maybe like a sound white side or something. And then, uh, you know, potentially even maybe a better small forehead. have Ingram be our six man. I don't really know yet. We're going to see how that all goes because we've got a lot of money to spend. I want to build a super team, but I also want to develop our young players. So let's go ahead and simulate this season, and we're going to see how this Laker team does. All right, guys. So we finished with a record of 46 and 35. Uh, definitely not the greatest record. Um, you know, 
low tier uh, Western Conference team, but still pretty damn good for this uh, young squad out here. So it definitely sets us up to have a pretty good second season, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these players. Actually, no, we'll do this last game against the Clippers here real quick. Similarly, third date against the uh, home state rival. And we take an L there, 2 point L, that's fine. Russell Westbrook with the MVP triple-double out there. We got uh, Rookie of the Year, yeah, Lonzo Ball. 20, about 26 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 seals. Dude, he's going to be an absolute beast come that second season. Uh, we got Dario Saric, 6th man of the year on the 76ers. Carl Anthony Towns, defensive player. I didn't know he was a defensive beast. Like, look at the numbers, though. Absolutely killer out there. And Lance Stevenson, most improved on the Grizzlies. Um, all right, so Lonzo Ball did make All-NBA first team. A bitch ass ran on the Clippers. Okay, no wonder we took the L there. That's fine, I guess. Uh, what else we got here? Anybody else from the Lakers? Okay, we got Lonzo Ball, All-Defensive second team. That's absolutely beastly. And, of course, made All-NBA all, all uh, rookie first team. All right, we got playoffs. We got playoffs after we check out these player stats, of course. I know you guys like seeing that stuff. So, uh, the rest of the team, so D'Angelo Russell had 23 points. Yeah, guys, I think he's absolutely going to excel at the shooting guard position. He's only 22 on here, so this backcourt, guys, is absolutely insane. We got Brandon Ingram. I'm happy we actually start him. He's going to be an 80 overall uh, this upcoming season. Uh, Zubak at center. You know, I have no problem him being our starting center. That's why it's going to be kind of tough uh, deciding what direction we want to go with this Lakers team at free agency. Uh, Larry Nance, like I said, guys, I might try to train him maybe for a top-notch draft pick. Might do that. Uh, Julius Randle. Good all-around numbers, nothing absolutely crazy. Uh, Andre Iguodala, 6.5 points per game. So, good bench numbers there. All right, that's all good. That's all good. And we got playoffs. So, first round we have, oh, my God, Golden State Warriors. At least they don't got bitch-ass Durant, right? They don't got him. So, there's always a chance. Simulate current rounds. See how we do. Okay, we got them four games to one. Damn, dude, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so uh, Stephen Curry, 25-3-1. Mozgov 10 and 7. Clay Thompson. They got the boy Timothy. That's that's where y'all fuckers went wrong, dude. Y'all took on that bitch ass contract. Yeah, bitch assed. Yo, D'Angelo 32 and 6. Uh, where's Lonzo Ball at? Holy shit, Lonzo. God damn, boy. 1 for 10. I mean, y'all still won, so it's all good. Zubak 14 and 11. I'm, I'm liking this dude a lot. Alright, we got uh Timberwolves second round. Simulate current round. Ooh, we almost blew that 3-1. We almost blew that 3-1. We didn't do it, though. Damn, that's a hell of a team. They also got Markel Fultz as their point guard. Yeah, that's uh, they really got him in real life. I mean, I know they got Chris Dunn and everything. That's still a hell of a team, though. Yo, Lon's the ball with the closeout game with the triple-double playing a little bit better. Still not shooting very consistently, though. You know, it's still, uh, he's, I mean, he's looking like Russell Westbrook out there, if you ask me. All right, we got the Clippers, the bitch-ass Durant. Simulate current round. Oh, we have the finals. Oh, my God, dude. Let's go! Oh my god! We got this, babe! We might actually win the championship our first season with the superstar Lonzo Ball. Um, yeah, because uh, the Pacers, who they got? I mean, yeah, their team looks the same. They got the Aaron Fox. They got Kyle Korver, but it's pretty much the same team. So let's, uh, let's do it, guys. Simulate current rounds. And guys, we won the championship in our first season. Very nice, very nice. But like I said, we're trying to build a dynasty. It just goes to show what one superstar can do for your team. I mean, it's the LeBron James syndrome. I'm not saying Lonzo Ball is LeBron James or anything, but in this video, we pretty much is 95 overall superstar player. Absolutely changed on the face of this franchise. Let's go back to back, guys. I mean, that's what we're doing in this video, right? So we are going to go to... Um, I'm actually not, I'm not going to worry about the draft, guys. I'm not going to worry about the draft. Uh, we're going to go straight to rookie signings. Assume, let's hope because we're not going to get a good draft pick anyway. We won the finals. I mean, I guess I could probably try to train Larry Nance, but at the same time, are we going to get much better? So, uh... Yeah, I don't know what any of these guys are, but I don't want either. I guess he's 71 overall. What's, what's he, a uh, center? No, I don't need him. Team player options. Okay, we still got team option there. Team option. Team option. All right, so we got all of our, uh, pretty much, I mean, our team's big three back, right? Qualifying offers. Julius Randle, we're going to extend that to him. Hopefully, he comes back. Uh, sometimes, you know, get the match those contracts. My free agents. Going to have a lot of them because uh, we got bird rights on Randle also. So, I'll uh, worry about him last, though. Uh, rest of the guys, you know, Terry Black, how much money are you looking for, dude? Oh, shit, you just want the mini? God damn, boy, how old is you, though? You're only 26, you're still a beast. Okay, okay. I'm good with that. Let's go to free agency. Paul George, Carmelo, yo, how much money you want? Damn, dude, sometimes you can get him for the low, low. Okay, what do we got for centers? Uh, we got DeAndre Jordan. I might just go for him anyway now. Uh, Brooke Lopez, he'd be kind of a nice pickup here. Not a ton of amazing options, but uh, still pretty good. I'll throw DeAndre that money. I got nowhere else to spend it on. 
Uh, we can go Brooke Lopez. I mean, he usually gets all NBA first team, so I would actually probably prefer him over DeAndre if, if uh, given the opportunity. Uh, Nurkic, he'd be a nice fit, but I'm not going to throw him that money. Ooh, Paul George on the Lakers, dude. I might I might try doing it, guys. You, I'm going to throw him the money. Actually, let's, let's, all, yeah, let's give him as much as we can. Damn, dude, I'm going for that. I'm going for Paul George on the Lakers. He wants to go to this team. You all know he wants to go to this team, right? And no trade clause. Let's see what we get here. All right, no offers. And uh, they're also thinking about it. Let's go, Paul George. Oh, my God, dude. Yo, Paul George on the Lakers. I don't know if he went to the team. I don't know if they would do it with Brandon Ingram. But, uh, I mean, Paul, I mean, Brandon's still young. He could be a damn six-man for us for now. Holy shit, dude. We got, so we got enough for Jordan still? Yes, we do. Ooh. Ooh, y'all talk about a dynasty. Let's get it, baby. I'm just going to throw DeAndre as much money as we can here. I know it's a big-ass contract, guys. I'm not supportive of this big contract. He's not going to get a no trade clause. Ooh, shit, dude. All right, um, well, damn. He literally almost doubled the contract. So I think, dang, dude, they both 30, both seven. No, I guess he's only 6'11". I'm going to go Brick Lopez. We still need a bench, guys. We still need a bench. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Brooke. We're going to decline that. I mean, that's just, from, from a money standpoint, it makes sense. So let's go, uh, we'll have Brandon Ingram off the bench. We'll have, uh, we still got, uh, what's his name? Uh, damn, Larry Nance Jr. Uh, we got Rondo as backup point guard. Let's go back up. Uh, small four will be Ingram, so shooting guard. What we got left here? How much you want? Ooh, Harris. We got, we got enough to get Harry, Gary Harris off the bench. I'm going to do that, too. Uh, throw Seth Curry a contract. I'm going to get my boy Nick Stauskas, if possible. And he wants something for low money, too. All right, yeah, let me, let me get uh, Gary Harris. We'll also get uh, Terry Black back, too. Oh, there we go. There we go, fucking Gary Harris. Oh, goddamn Denver Chicken Nuggets. Golden Nuggets, whatever you want to call them. Oh, we're taking my players. Do they always do that shit? Always. That's right, I'll get Seth. I'll get Seth and be happy. Come on, Stauskas. All right, we got Seth Curry at least. I'm good with that. All right. Um, Damn, dude. I mean, we pretty much said Let's go to player progression. Oh, my God, dude. We got a damn-ass good-ass team. We got Julius back for the uh, is a, is a restricted free agent. Player progression. Lime's ball up three points. Paul George going up. Brandon Ingram. Oh, this is going to be tough, guys. He's going to be a beastly six-man, though. D'Angelo Russell. Brooke Lopez. Extra down points. So... I might low-key look for a better center, guys, if I can do it. I mean, I kind of expect him to go down. All of our players are going up. We got Roundup down a point. It's fine. Not going to worry about the training camp. But we definitely got some trade pieces to improve our center position, if possible. I don't know what quite I want to do yet with it, but uh, let's see. All right, what's on the basic bitches? The basic bitches, as I like to call them. Trade finder. Let's just... Uh, I by no me wants to trade Brandy. No, no, no. Let me try uh, Brooke Lopez, Larry Nance Jr., First rounder. If we do two first, no, we can only do one first rounder. Okay. See what this, uh, see what we snatch up here. George Hill test Chandler. Nope. Dwight Howard, Larry Sanders. We already tried that. Ooh. It's not white side, dude. Damn, 87 overall. We do lose Larry Nance, but uh, it's not like the end of the world there. Nerves Noel. Jones Falachus. And we get Iguodala back. That's, uh, that's a pretty good deal also. Steven Adams, CJ McCollum. I'm going to get a sound white side, guys. I'm going to get a sound white side. 87 overall. Yeah, we got to go up to 81 uh, Larry Nance Jr., but we get an absolute beast in a sound white side. I, I like that deal. I, I do like that deal. Sound white side is younger. Uh, yeah, it makes our bench a little bit weak, but we got a pretty damn good bench anyway. So, do this. Yeah, because Tarek, he can, he can be center. Uh, Zubag, I'm going to try actually put, try putting him at the uh, power forward position. We'll just have like, like the twin towers off the bench. Zubak at... Power forward goes up to 78 overall, so that's a nice little move for us. All right, yeah, dude, this team, oh my, this team is absolutely deadly. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. And we got, uh, Frazier. We'll put, no, we'll, yeah, we'll go Frazier at back up point guard instead of Rondo. I, and I guess uh, Seth Curry could also play point guard like, uh, like Big Brother, right? Like Big Brother. Put you at 31 a game. Cause we, want, we do want Brandon Ingram playing some minutes out there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to simulate this last season. I think we definitely built a dynasty team. Like, look at our lineup. We got 97, 86, 88, 80, 88, 83, 78, 78. Holy shit, dude. I think we built a dynasty here, especially the uh, the young, the, the youngness, the youthfulness of this team. Uh, yeah, like, give this team, like, five seasons. They all going to win a goddamn 99 overall. So let's simulate this season and see how this Laker team does.
It's official, Lakers Nation is back, at least in this video, at least in 2K17, Lakers Nation is back, 67 and 14 for this final record, uh, we just beat the Golden State Warriors, 114-81, beat the San Antonio Spurs, 118-103, absolutely beasting out there, we got one more game against the Sacramento Kings, I'm imagining it's probably a W, and we get a big W right there, Lonzo Ball guys, most valuable player in his second season, 23 points, 8 rebounds, 7.4 assists, Shooting 44% from three-point out there. Looking like Steph and Corey Russell Westbrook hybrid. And uh, I don't know who that dude is. Uh, Dario Saric, six-man, Carl Anthony Towns defensive again. And found maker most improved b on the Milwaukee Bucks with uh, this dude, Quinn Snyder. I don't know where Luke Wallen is. Must have forgot to sign him. My bad. My bad. But uh, here's your All-NBA first team. Now we skip it for somebody. I don't know why uh, they do that. All right, so we got Lonzo Ball on. That's about it. Lonzo Ball, all-defensive second team. Uh, let's check out the rest of these players' stats real quick before we do the playoffs. Oh, we got Paul George at 17.3 points. So it's scoring not, you know, looking probably like, uh, probably close to a career low for him because, yeah, he's always been like a 20-point per game scorer. But that's fine. Uh, still, you know, he didn't really need to be that type of player. D'Angelo Russell has 16 points. Uh, Ingram has the six-man. I'm surprised he did not get six-man of the year with those kind of numbers. And a sound with the 13 points, 11 rebounds. I mean, basic big center numbers, but that's all he really needed to be. And this is the rest of our uh, team right there for you guys to see. So let's get to it, guys. Lonzo Ball absolutely balling on here. Looking like uh, the man in LeVar Ball's image. I mean, well, in comparison, you know, he'd be all 99s if it was LeVar Ball's son. All right, we got Utah Jazz first round. Simulate current round. Let's get it. Don't blow the 2-1. Don't, don't. Okay, we got him 4-2. Thank God. And uh, here's close closeout game. Lonzo 29-7-6. With that boy in the Muppets, um, <clears throat> with the, 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 the dude in the Muppets. Y'all remember the Muppets? There was a dude with the big nose. It looked like a penis. Kind of like a Squidward nose. Was that Lonzo? Might have been Gonzo. Anyway, I'm going to call him Gonzo. I think if it's Gonzo, I'm going to call him Gonzo Ball. Although, he doesn't really have a big nose. At least I don't think he does. I'm sure it's just a normal-sized nose. All right, we got Clippers with bitch-ass Durant in second round. Similar to current round. Swept them bitch-asses four games to zero. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Close like, oh, Seth Curry actually 23 points. Six for six from three. Absolutely balling out there. I uh, definitely like seeing that. 22 rebounds for Hassan Whiteside. 18, 7, 11, and 5 for Lonzo Ball. We got the Houston Rockets with, uh, I imagine, James Harden. Who's on their team here? Yeah, okay, so they pretty much the same team. Simulate current round. Got them four games to zero. We absolutely balling. We destroying this team. Uh, Paul George is with a really good game and very efficient game, too. At only 6-for-11 uh, shooting, but still leading this team with uh, 21 points. And we got probably LeBron James here. Yeah, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson. Same damn team. That Jeff Green, Jamichael Green. Tony Allen, he's still in the league, apparently, out here. All right, simulate current round. Let's go! Four games to back-to-back -back championship, guys. We definitely accomplished what we were trying to do this video and uh, building a Los Angeles Lakers dynasty in two seasons around a superstar lines of ball. Yes, I, I don't think he's going to be that great that fast, but if he, become, if, if he becomes a great player, whatever team he goes to, it just goes to show what one player could do for your uh, dynasty or for your franchise. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If I'm going to do another type of video like this, uh, be sure to drop that like. And let me know in the comment section below what other player superstar you'd like to see.